I was going to do a video on how to make the uh, blades for my treadmill wind generator. I was going to show you how I approached it. First thing I'm going to show you is you got two lines. You need one that, that's straight, and how I obtained that one was I use a piece of angle iron. You lay a piece of angle iron onto a pipe, as you notice, and it'll give you a straight line. That was my first one. The other one that I had to obtain was the uh, kind of like the diagonal line, I guess you call it. And how I did that is I basically sacrificed a measuring tape. And you notice you don't have to tape it on. I, I just did this because I don't have a, a, an extra set of hands here, so make a little better video about it. But you can see how how it's a measuring tape has a real good ability to tug a contour or a uh, round surface like that all the way across and the dimensions of the blade that I made let's see if you can see this the uh, the top straight line was 35 inches to the edge. The uh, two mounting holes that mounted onto it were separated by three quarters of an inch. It's like a quarter inch. The, the nearest hole to the edge is like a quarter inch. It's it's just the way these windmill, uh, these uh, treadmill generators are designed. They're, there's not a lot of room to mount it that I've, I could see. And then I went down two and three quarters from that edge to that edge, then four and three quarters from those two edges, and then the last edge traveled the total distance of thirty and a quarter inches. And the pipe that it was cut out of is a schedule 35 I believe I know it should be at least 40 preferably a uh, I believe it's a 60 schedule which would be on our 80 schedule I'm sorry I might be incorrect about that too but I know it's too thin but the uh, principle of how you produce these blades is all the same so And once you produce one blade, maybe your design will be a little different. You can cut it out with a uh, jigsaw. That's what I use. And this is the finishing product, finished product. Look at it. 